I think it is no exaggeration to say that the King Song S20 may have just overnight became one of the most anticipated electric unicycle of 2021. Even grumpy cat Chris Hung hates as well. Every single new wheel ever introduced had expressed some mild interest in the S20. And kudos to King Song and especially shout out to Jack for making this particular wheel launch one that is on like any other we had previously. But aside from pretty rendering as well as talk of 126 volts, what does this all mean? What is it about this particular announcement that very likely ruined Gotway's day? This week, why the King Song S20 may be the hottest wheel of 2021. Are you ready? Roll the intro. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and click on that bell icon to be notified of new episodes. With a single video, well, I guess there is also the launch website and the live stream between Jack, Mick, and Cobra. We now know a whole lot more about the King Song S20, an electric unicycle with the speckle surprising that when it was leaked earlier, many hardcore UC rider had trouble believing it to be true. And I would say even now after the formal announcement, there are still many who remain skeptical of King Song's ability to actually produce this wheel and for me the most exciting news isn't the upgraded suspension system nor the larger battery pack all good things certainly but 126 volts 126 volts and we have to talk about why that is such a big deal and to start we have to talk about this one limitation to an electric unicycle which we actually rarely discuss and this is something that may sound familiar if you enjoy of all things kayaking which is that just like a kayak you don't actually ride an electric unicycle but you wear it and what i mean by that is that since you control the wheel by shifting its orientation relative to your body just as you would control a kayak by tilting your body and shifting your weight the kayak acts very much as an extension of your body and so do the electric unicycle Part of the reason why riders have taken to add pads and shin to allow them to increase contact surfaces and leverage points. However, because of that, unlike let's say a car or maybe even a truck, because an electric unicycle must maintain that direct connection with a rider, it must also remain proportional to the size of the rider or herself. A wheel like the 90 pound Monster Pro really stretched the boundary here not only from a practical point of view but also from a ride control perspective. Since to pivot and turn the wheel mid-ride you are essentially pushing against your own center of gravity and if it comes down to a wrestling match between you and the wheel as it get larger and heavier at some point the rider is going to be on the losing side of that wrestling match and size and weight limitation directly impact one of the largest and heaviest components in an electric unicycle the battery packs everyone wants more battery and the associated increase in power output and range but nobody want to carry more cells with their additional size and weight requirement so how do you squeeze out more performances given the same battery pack size you design and build higher discharge rate battery packs that are able to push more current at a higher voltage but like a water gun with a high pressure tank that will soak someone quick but also run out of juice just as fast similarly if King Sun were to go for a significant power boost there is also going to be a price to be paid in terms of range as well as cell cost the other challenge associated with high voltage system are that they require more robust components and for a long time Gotway was the sole builder of 100 volt EUCs a monopoly which was only broken last year when their own engineers decided to branch out and form their own company as veteran to produce a competing wheel the Sherman the rumor and expectation were that similar to emotion 
King Sung was going to step up to 100 volt to match that of Godway and Veteran. However, when the announcement did drop, they completely blew us away with the announcement of the very first 126 volt electric unicycle ever. That is potentially a whole 50% increase over their previously 84 volt based electrical system, which was what the SAT, their last suspension electric unicycle have been based on. And to offset the significant jumping power output and the associated discharge rate, King Sang also increased the battery pack size to 2200 watt hour, doubling the size they went with in the S18. And although you likely will not see a doubling of range, remember you are pumping a lot more current into the motor, the S20 will certainly outlast the S18 by the solid margin and be a lot more resistant to voltage sag under heavy load, which was the primary reason why the S18 was so prone to cut out when ridden aggressively. Now there is still a good bit of skepticism in regards to confidence in King Sang's ability to produce this wheel, likely partly a function of the fact that again, 126 volt electric unicycle is brand new territory that no one had ever attempted before. And also that the S20 is currently in prototype testing phase. And so the wheel as shown in the rendering does not technically exist in the form presented. However, in my opinion, there is still a huge gap between prototype and experimental and knowing the generally conservative approach that King Song usually take with their product. I have a good bit of confidence on their ability to actually deliver a production S20 with the promised specification. There are also questions about exactly what kind of cells the battery pack will be made from and how they are configured since after all the performance of the battery packs to a large degree dictate what the wheels will be capable of but I'm sure we'll certainly find out more information as we get closer to release. So what we have is an electric unicycle with an upgraded suspension system to what I had already thought was the best in class amongst the class of 2020 suspension wheels with a power delivery system that not only addresses the weaknesses that have been pointed out in their previous gen product, but very likely vastly improves on this. As a matter of fact, with its greater power output due to its higher voltage, the S20 may actually be able to outperform some of its non-suspension and performance slash speed oriented competition. Wheels from Gotway are perhaps even veteran German. Now I am a bit skeptical as to whether or not King Sun would truly allow the limit of this particular wheel to be fully explored. And by that, of course, I mean speed for those of us particularly obsessed. Again, given their reputation for conservative approach in that area, at the minimum, the S20 would be as fast, if not faster than the Emotion V12, which is fine since after all, the V12 is listed at $2,200 as compared to the $3,200 suggested retail price. King Sound is floating, so you get a larger battery pack, more power, and a suspension system for $1,000 more. And conversely, if you like to save $1,000 and prefer to have something a little bit simpler. But on the other hand, I can't think of a worse news for Godway, who had also recently released their follow-up to their suspension electric unicycle from last year, Hero which is a 100 volt wheel, carries an 1800 watt hour battery pack, as well as an upgraded suspension, which suspiciously look quite similar to that of the King Sound S18 from last year. And what is particularly concerning to me is that it has a free spin speed of 49 miles an hour, very similar to that of the EX, 
actually even a little bit slower from what I recall. Now let me remind you that the EX has a maximum speed of about 33 to 34 miles per hour. And if you recall from my review of that wheel last year, evidently Gateway did not because I had railed against the lack of speed of that particular wheel. I get that there is some amongst us who prefer a higher torque wheel. However, I have to say that the one distinguishing feature of Gateway has always been their ability to make really fast electric unicycles, right? And aside from missing the one attribute that I personally thought had led to the demise of the original EX, to add insult to injury, the Gateway Hero was introduced at a suggested retail price of, I hope you're sitting down, $4,100. I guess I should pause and let that number sink in a little bit. Now electric unicycle manufacturers are a secretive bunch. For a good reason since competition is fierce and no one wants to give away what they're working on unless that their competitors get a leg up. But as an obsessive observer of the EUC sports and market, I feel like I get a decent sense of what everyone learned from their product launch in the bombshell 2020 season based on the follow-up product they created for 2021. Veteran walked away with the knowledge that brand don't really matter as long as you produce an outstanding product. The EUC community will not only recognize it and be willing to pay a premium price for their wheel. Also that there are still some gap in terms of design and quality control that they must close given the general rough fit and finishes on the Sherman as well as some longer term durability concerns like the relatively weak rim that they have supplied which has the unfortunate tendency to crack if you just stare at it the wrong way. Emotion saw the vast potential the EUC Sports as well as market presented and also recognized the need to tighten up ship and build a much more robust and durable product. One that would both provide a solid best-in-class performances but also value in terms of great entry point to the EUC Sports. One that may build foundation for a loyal customer base in the future. As to Kingsong, they doubled down on the whole suspension wheel design and created what may be just about the most EUC community oriented electric unicycle ever. S20 went a long way in covering the many complaints and feedback people have had on forums and chat over the past year about the S18. However, when it comes to Gateway, I gotta honestly say, with the introduction of the hero, it really seemed to me from their disastrous 2020 season, despite introducing five brand new wheels, their customer likely remember about their wheel was accidents and fire. Yet the only thing that they seem to have walked away with was that us as a customer base are apparently desperate for whatever it is they're selling at whatever crazy price they may want to charge us. So are you just as excited about the S20 as I am or do you disagree with me hating on the Gotway hero? Well, that is what the comment section belows are for. And you know what? A high somehow managed to trick you into wasting another 15 minutes of your life, but I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to my supporter on Patreon. Please check out the link in the video description below if you enjoy and like to support my work. And as always, as much as we all love electric unicycle, the only way for us to get better wheels is to grow as a community. So tell your friends and teach them how to ride and get them hooked. Until the next video, thank you. Hopefully next week I'll finally be able to get to the EXN review that I've been promising for the longest time where I will attempt to hit 50 miles per hour on this wheel. <laughs>